Hey everybody, Scott Tetweller here, back with another 2-Minute Capture 1. And today we're going to talk about a feature you're probably not using, and that is PAC as EIP. EIP stands for Enchanted Imaginary Photography. No, not really. It stands for Enhanced Image Package. And it's not a proprietary format, so don't freak out about that. All it is is a glorified zip file. In fact, if you change the extension from EIP to zip file, it works the exact same way. So what benefits does it bring? Well, it's a bit on the technical side, and I did break it down in another video, but I wanted to cover it in one of these two-minute videos because it's easy to digest if you just look at it from an overview. So let's start with this image of April. If I right-click, show and explore, it'll bring it up here in this window. And you can see it's a standard Sony RAW file, so 9169. If we go and look in the Capture One file, under the settings for the current version of Capture One, so inside of this folder will be the exact same file name with the .cos extension. This is where Capture One keeps all of the settings. So how you adjusted the exposure, all the other things that you have. Unlike Lightroom, it's not kept in the database of Capture One. And this is one of the reasons why Capture One is much faster. However, if you don't back this file up, that means that later on when you go to restore it, you may not have all the adjustments that were saved in Capture One. So how do we solve this problem? That's what packing EIP comes in. To pack an image as EIP, right click and click pack EIP. Another cool benefit of this is inside of Windows Explorer and inside of Mac OS, you can now see the preview of the image. Unlike RAW, which normally doesn't show up, the AIP will allow a quick image preview. If we unzip this thing, we can see it's just simply a bunch of XML files, our original RAW file, and the exact same layout we had earlier with the settings file. So no surprises, nothing weird. And now we can back up everything in one single file. So now you can send your EAP file to an external editor and it will contain the ICC profile, any lens corrections that you've made, as well as the original RAW. They can simply right click on it and unpack EIP to work on the file. If you'd like to do this automatically, if you're in Capture One, you don't have to pack and unpack the file. It'll do it automatically behind the scenes. This does not work in a catalog, by the way, because the catalog does store the changes much like Lightroom does. If you'd like to make this an automatic process, you can go to Edit, Preferences, image and right here pack as EIP when importing and pack as EIP when capturing if you shoot tethered. This way all the packing is done for you. You don't have to worry about wandering around and finding different files and backing them up and everything's in an open format that's a zip file. I hope this was helpful. Again give it a thumbs up and I'll keep these things coming if you guys like them. Everybody stay safe and I'll talk to you next time.